Now to concerns at the nation's busiest airport, O'Hare. A custodian supervisor for the Chicago Department of Aviation tells the CBS2 investigators he and his employees are afraid to call in sick. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey digging into those concerns. And Megan, quarantine time off is at the center of this. Right, Marie, the Chicago Department of Aviation tells me they take COVID-19 quarantines very seriously, but a supervisor claims he was told to report to work even with a doctor's note. And it's becoming a cesspool of just disease. Strong words from custodian supervisor LaVon Shields, who oversees about 34 employees at O'Hare. The ones who air travelers might see scrubbing the tables in the food court or emptying the trash. They're telling me that they can't afford this. Like, Levon, if I'm sick, I'm going to come to work if I, I'm not getting paid. Shield says he quarantined for 10 days after a potential exposure. Here's his doctor's note. So your doctor told you, basically, you need to stay home until January 6th. Yes, ma'am. And they immediately told me that you will not be paid for this uh, quarantine and that are you coming to work. So I'm even like, with a doctor's note? Even with a doctor's note. A different CDA employee also reached out with a similar story about her doctor's note not being honored. Shield said he even detailed his concerns in a submission to 311. Here's the confirmation number. But when he went back to check it later, it was gone. OEMC tells me it was forwarded to CDA and closed, and then apparently deleted. An outside expert told us that even if it was closed, there should still be a record. And then that's when I. And Shield says he never got a response. Today, a spokesperson told me that for privacy reasons, they can't comment on an individual case, but any employee who is known to have been potentially exposed to COVID-19 is required to quarantine and encouraged to be tested. If an employee is placed on quarantine by CDA, they are paid. Shield says he and his employees just want their fears to be taken seriously. They've been talking to me about the money instead of about the people, and I feel like it's more about the people and the public. Now, as of December 28th, 137 CDA employees at O'Hare had tested positive for COVID-19. Now, that's since the start of the pandemic. 22 employees at Midway have tested positive. I mean, those fears are founded. Has the Department of Aviation said what it's doing to keep employees safe right now? Right, so they sent us a very long list of the precautions that they're taking, including extensive contact tracing for those positive cases. They also provide testing for all airport employees at both O'Hare and at Midway. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey live at O'Hare tonight. Thank you, Megan.